Check this out. This week is a different week for me because I usually have a violinist, a guitarist, a cellist, and now I have this incredible instrument, the didgeridoo. How do you find that mix and how have you done it? Because it comes back to, again, my mother playing classical music to me during my childhood. And I, I guess I found the fascination of this really other worldly old tradition of sounds from Europe, like that European classical style of music, which is the violin and an orchestra. And just the, I guess, the, the effect it can create, like listening to an orchestra or a string quartet even, yes. um, it sort of takes you on a journey musically. And so I, want, I wanted to be a part of that journey. Tell me a bit about the different techniques and what, what they mean. So most definitely the did you do is actually an instrument of uh, imitation as well for, for uh, the birds of the bushland. Yes. And so the kookaburras and, and certain, certain rhythmical um, phrasing, you know. Can you show represent, us? Represent the kangaroo. So this is oh, the, the kangaroos? Kangaroo, the kangaroo hopping. Oh, let's see. Then of course cool. you've got the kookaburra. The kookaburra. <laughs> That's wonderful. Any other ones? That you can uh, pick the up? dingo. I'll do the dingo. The dingo. And okay. Then, and then I'll do the brolga, which is the brolga is using the vocal cords but with the flutter tongue. But here's a dingo, the dingo. wild dingo. Brolga. So you've got the wind, the whirly winds, or a car going past even. Oh, well, let's see. <laughs> Oh, I love that one. <laughs> then you can top it off with combining the traditional with the contemporary. Let's see. Check this out.